Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial. And I just got back from vacation, so yes, it went great. Thank you for asking. You guys are so nice. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, um, before I get into this tutorial, please give this video a like, and I'll bribe you to not just asking for likes, you know, like Brandon did. Um, if you give me 300 likes on this video, I will put up the project file for this on our website and you can download it and not have to watch this tutorial you can just you know grab it if you want and uh, yeah so if you're lazy like the video if you just love us like the video and I'll put that up so anyway um, if you didn't see the intro here's what we're doing today just this underwater scene it's an old effect I don't remember where I learned it so I'm sorry if you guys have seen this before don't remember where I learned it. It's a very cool effect. Um, very easy. Everything's done in After Effects. Uh, and the plugins are all the plugins that come with After Effects. So, no third party software here. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. First, let's create a new composition and make sure it's at uh, 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. And right here, let's just make sure it's at 8 seconds. Uh, this is frames this is seconds this is hours this is days so yeah make sure that it's zero eight or just however long you want it um, doesn't matter about the background color and just hit OK so now we have this nice new composition let's right click go new solid um, let's just make it black and uh, make it comp size hit OK and let's rename it by clicking and hitting enter and let's name it uh, scene alright cuz this is gonna be our main scene so let's go over to the effects presets and it'll look like this go over to the effects preset tab and we're gonna search for something called 4 dash color it's right there for color gradient click and drag it onto the scene layer and now uh, select a color that is you know kinda oceany I guess unless I don't know what other colors you want I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life okay just if you wanna make it an ocean you're gonna have to make it blue guys okay it's just a fact don't hate the player hate the game okay hit okay <laughs> now go to the eye drop selector and just click the same blue all the way down because now we can just select it and make them different this way so let's make this a little bit darker maybe a little more uh, a little more tealish blue lightish blue hit OK and then we'll go to this side and make this side really dark um, go over here We'll make this one a lot darker uh, we'll make it like yeah like right there that looks good now make this top corner we'll make it a lot lighter uh, yeah like that that looks really good so the scene is looking really nice maybe even a little bit lighter cuz uh, we don't play around <laughs> okay so now go to the blend and let's just turn it up to like what like 250 that yeah around two 267 that's what I selected but this is all an opinion tutorial you guys you can follow this but do what you think looks good okay so next let's let's create those bubbles that you saw so go over to the effects preset tab again and let's search for CC snow now uh, I know what you're saying bubbles out of snow Eli are you a crazy man and uh, yes yes I am however when you turn the speed to a negative well here let me show you this look at it's snowing right and it's falling down however when you turn the speed to a negative volume let's just make it negative point two zero hit OK look what happens it's snowing up <gasps> isn't it amazing I'm the best <laughs> I'm just kidding um, <laughs> Why do I laugh at my own jokes? I'm so stupid. Uh, yeah, so that's why we're using snow. It looks a lot more convincing than using the CC bubbles when it comes to uh, this underwater scene. That's just my opinion, but yeah. So let's go to the amount. Let's turn it down to like 20 because there's not that many bubbles under the sea, you know? Do Fish are breathing, but I don't know. Let's just get back to the tutorial. I'm getting off track. Let's turn the amplitude down a bit. Let's just make it like... Uh, no, like 75. Yeah, 0. 0.73, whatever. And we'll go to the flake size. We'll make it 5. You can make it whatever you want. Okay, I'm not telling you how to live your life, like I said. And let's just make the opacity like 
like 26. That's that's a nice number, 26. So there you have your little bubbles floating up. Isn't that nice? I'm just just teaching you guys so much today, aren't I? <laughs> All right. So now you saw those light rays, and you might be thinking, "Wow, that's going to be really tough." It's actually pretty easy. Let me show you how to do it right now. Okay? Just right-click right here. Go New Solid. Make it comp size. Make it whatever color you want. I don't care. All right. I'm just going to make it a really bright white. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Now let's go over to here and type in frac, like frac, man, fractal noise. Okay, that's the that's the effect we want. Click and drag it onto the white solid, and uh, now you might not have this animation's presets right here. So let me tell you how to make it show up. If it's not there, it's gonna look like this. You're like, <gasps> where is it, Eli? Well, random person, I'm going to tell you right now. Have fractal noise selected. Go up to this little drop down menu right about here. Click. And go show animation presets. And uh, for some reason, CS5, and I, I'm guessing CS6, hides the animation presets by default. So that's what you have to do to make it show up again. Um, yeah, so go to animation presets, go to the drop down, and then go to curtain. And it makes some weird looking, uh, some weird looking stuff. And right away, you might like how that looks. I don't like how that looks. I'm going to turn the complexity down a lot. And that's looking good to me. Um, turn down the contrast and the brightness a bit and that's already looking a lot better to me so let's rename this real quick because I don't like it being white solid so hit enter well I don't have nothing against white solids but you know I'm not racist or anything but let's just rename it to um, rays okay so once you have all the settings how you like it now we're going to want to animate this exactly how we want so go to the front of the rays timeline right here and we're going to double click this stopwatch over here to get rid of the evolution that was already in there so now we have a keyframe activated so we're going to drag to the very back and we're going to turn up the evolution to one and that just makes a nice little keyframed animation there so now we're going to need to pre-compose this rays layer. Hit Control Shift C with the rays layer selected. Go move all attributes to the new composition. We're going to call this light rays. Hit OK. And there you go. It's in a new comp. And now we can add effects to the comp and not affect the effect that we applied. So first, before we do anything, let's zoom out using the scroll wheel. Let's go over here and we're going to type in corn nur pin that's what we want that effect right there and what this does is it allows us to click and drag this exactly how we want it so it creates that angle that we want for the light rays see that isn't isn't after effects amazing i, I just love it so much <laughs> so yeah i'm going to zoom back in and i already know that that's actually pretty good where it is and I like how it looks so now go to light rays hit F4 that just brings up the blending modes and uh, we're going to go to soft light and that makes it look a lot better see that but it's still a little intense so let's hit T with light rays selected and let's drop it down to what like uh, like 28 looks good now it's still a little sharp for me. Uh, you guys might like that. So let's go up to uh, effect. Oh, I hate when it does that. Effect. And we're going to go to blur and sharpen. And we're going to hit a fast blur. And we're just going to turn it up to like 19. That just gets rid of that really, that really harsh, uh, like light rays aren't that sharp. I, in, in, in my opinion, you know, you guys might like it that way. Um, I don't think they're that sharp, so I'm going to just do 19, and then I'm going to, with the light ray selected, go up to this elliptic, elliptical marque tool, and uh, we're going to click and drag right about there to create a mask. Uh, let's just do it right about there. Let's go into this mask. Let's, in well, no, we don't want to invert it. What am, what am I saying? We're going to feather it a lot, like 200, and then just mask just uh, mess with that expansion until you get something that you really like um, I think that's looking pretty good I'm gonna go back to my move tool and just make sure 
yeah, I think that's looking really good. So yeah, um, next, since we have the light rays looking good, let's uh, create that nice little, uh, what's it called, texture that you saw in the background. You know, it made it look like it was actual water. So let's uh, right click in this blank canvas area, go new, solid, and uh, it can be whatever color you want. And let's make it, well, what's it called? It's called fractal noise. Same thing. That's what we want. Click and drag it on there. And this time, uh, let's let's drop down the contrast. And let's drop down the brightness. And uh, we can mess with that in a little bit too. And leave the complexity up. And let's uh, go to this and let's rename it real quick. Have it selected. Hit enter. And we're just going to name this water. Just because we can. And let's change the blending mode to color dodge. Whoa, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? This looks so good, huh, you This looks so good. Yes. <laughs> My joke's so bad. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> it's still a little intense, so let's uh, have the water selected. Hit T. Drop the opacity. Let's just make it, what, like 25? Uh, eh. Let's make it a little bit more visible. Let's turn it up to like 30. 30 looks good to me. So yeah, now that's looking pretty good. Let's go back to the front of the timeline. And with the water selected, let's click this evolution twice to start a keyframe. Let's drag to the very back and let's just make it one. And that'll just give it a nice little subtle animation, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> so now the last thing we want to do is create a new solid. We're going to call it Viggy for vignette. Then we're going to go up to this ellipse elliptical marquee tool again. And let's just click and drag it just on the top part of it. Um, hit space if you need to and drag it exactly where you want it. Uh, I like I like it right about there. That looks pretty good. So now go into the mask. Let's invert it. And let's uh, turn up the feather a lot. And then mess with the expansion. And that's looking pretty good to me. And now let's change the blend mode to soft light. And then let's hit T for opacity. And then drop down the opacity a little bit. And that is looking pretty good. Check that out. I'm going to hit 0 to let it pre-render. And you guys will be able to see how good it looks. I'll bring you guys back in a second just so you can see how it looks, okay? Alright, welcome back you guys. Um, basically it just took a little bit. It took about, what, like three or four minutes to pre-render. So that just shows you how much is going on in this effect. But yeah, it's looking really good. Check that out. It looks like uh, an actual underwater scene in my opinion. So the last thing I wanted to show you was how to create that little that little zoom and little ripple on the logo like if you're doing this for like some water company's logo or something I just want to show you how I created that little turbulence look so I'm just double clicking in here to search in this uh, browser and I'm going to t like find the logo or the word that you made I just made this in Photoshop real quick check it out I mean it's really easy it just has a slight drop shadow on it these are the settings I use, just a slight drop shadow, little bubble and emboss that made it look kind of bubbly. And then I did a nice little uh, light gray to white gradient on it. So that's all I did for that, and it looks really nice. So uh, let's click and drag this on top. And then let's change the blending mode to overlay. And then let's uh, let's animate it a little bit. So let's hit the scale and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna hit the stopwatch at the beginning and I'm going to change this to 50 and then maybe right at well I'll just make it get to like what right 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 there towards the very end that looks good yeah now let's change the opacity hit T let's drop it down to zero Oh, okay, and I hit the stopwatch to make that new uh, 
that new keyframe. So I hit the stopwatch to make a new keyframe and then drop it down to zero. And I'm going to go to like, what, two seconds, make it full. Then I'm going to go to about five seconds, make it a hundred again to activate another keyframe. Then I'm going to drop it all the way to zero. And that just made a nice little animation. I'm also going to do easy ease on these. And uh, you can just hit F9 with uh, the one selected, but I can't do that. So I'm, I have to select them, then right click, then go to keyframe assistant and go easy ease. But you guys can just hit F9. And uh, it'll make a nice, easy ease, beautiful, opacize beauty. So yeah. Next let's do the effect where it looked all turbulent so with it selected let's go up to effect and let's go to distort and let's do is it down more yeah turbulent displace and uh, you're already getting something there but let's do about let's start with about 18 because I don't want the effect to be too crazy at first so let's let's uh, put a keyframe at 18 at the very beginning and just so I can see it, I'm going to click the drop down menu and go to the effects and go to the turbulent displace just so I can see what I'm doing here. And let's uh, keyframe the evolution. And let's just turn the complexity up a little bit. And uh, let's go up a little bit. And at about, what, three seconds, let's make it, let's make it stop or go very little. Let's do one. And then at about, uh, five seconds let's turn it all the way up to like 12 just so it eases and then let's just go big time like 52 towards the end just so it gets crazy at the very end and now let's also make sure that you have the evolution keyframed go all the way to the back and let's change it to three just so it gives it a, a different kind of displace yeah well, it goes crazy. And this is all, you know, what you guys want. Like, if you don't want this, then don't do it. You know? Do it how you want. I'm not the boss of you. Okay, live your life. <laughs> but yeah, let's make these easy ease to this uh, this amount. Uh, if you remember, just right click. Go, or just hit F9 and then go to easy ease. And uh, yeah. With that, this tutorial is done, and it looks really good, and I like how it turns out. And uh, I'm sorry I don't remember who made this, but if you do find it, thank them, not me, because I'm just, I'm just the messenger here. <laughs> I'm just teaching you guys what I know, and I love teaching you guys new stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this, and I'll give you guys the... Um, the download for this or you can just follow the tutorial like normal I don't care just please like it um, we love you guys so much and we will see you guys next week and hopefully Brandon's next tutorial is awesome and uh, we love you and peace out <laughs>